Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Small Pets plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which adds these cool small pets that you can see over here. And not only do they look cool, but they give you special abilities. So, having one gives you a benefit, and depending on which one you pick, it'll be slightly different. So, there's a few different types which we'll get into. So, if we do forward slash small pets, that will bring up the GUI. These are all the pets that I currently own, and the button on the bottom left will just hide it if you don't want it behind you anymore, and then you can re-toggle that to bring them back. So then if we have a look up here, you can see the different types of pets we have. So we've got a fish, we've got a penguin, panda, tiger, that sort of thing. And you can see the levels. So this one is going to give us regeneration, this one gives us more damage, and you can see each one does something slightly different, and you can choose whichever one you want in that case. So here's my level 1 penguin. How do we level him up? Well, all we need to do is either kill mobs, do some farming, do some mining, and that will give you a certain amount of XP. Now, killing a chicken is just one XP, but you can change this in the config file, you can change the XP multiplier, and then doing certain things will give you more XP than just killing a chicken. So how do you get a pet? Well, there are some crafting recipes. So if you want a mini skeleton, this is how you would do it, and that will give you a 1% chance not to consume arrows. And then if you wanted a tiger, you need lots of different raw meat, and then this is for the penguin. Then we've got the monkey, which looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and craft that one and just show you how it works. So it's pretty simplistic, just three leather going vertically and then two coca beans and that will give us a monkey. All we need to do then is just right click and that will unlock it for us and it will put him in the GUI. And there we go, you can see in chat it got unlocked and here it is in the GUI. So just click on it and that will spawn him in. He's obviously level one and looks pretty funny. So if we do 4 slash small pets admin and then pet types, that's going to list all of the current pet types that are in the game and you can choose from whichever one of those you want. So the next command we can do is the 4 slash small pets admin give xp followed by my username and then the UUID of the pet that we have and that will allow us to level them up. So I'm going to give a ton of xp, maybe 1500 or something and then that will level up my pet to level 3 and it only needs 15 to get to level 4 and unfortunately it doesn't say what the UUID is so I think this was the fish that I chose. So next if you do 4 slash small pets admin remove pet LT gym and then the UUID you can remove a certain pet from your inventory if you don't want it anymore and then we can do 4 slash small pets and then discord if you need any help or want to ask the developer a question and then if we do 4 slash small pets admin give pet and then my username and then whichever one you want that will put it straight into your GUI, you don't have to craft it that way. So you can currently see the experience multiplier is 1, you can change this in the config which we'll have a look at, um, but that is pretty much everything in game, how you craft them and the commands that you can use to either level them up if you don't want to wait. So let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there are a few folders and two IML files. If you have a look in the config first of all, there's not too much in here, there's just a few small things you can uh, change. So you've got the pet lore at the bottom, you've got the backup if you want that to happen um, and when. And then up at the top you've got a couple of things, so language is English, uh, register crafting recipes yes or no, do you want that, do you want to require permissions, uh, the XP to get to level 2 is 500 and then the XP multiplier is currently set at 1.0 but you could obviously change that to make it either easier or harder. Um, but that's pretty much everything in the config. The main place you want to go is the experience table, if we have a look in here. This is what I was talking about in-game. So depending on what you do in here, it will give you a different amount of XP. So apparently killing a rabbit gives you negative 2, but killing an ender dragon gives you a 1000. Um, and then mining gives you quite a lot actually, so you could tweak this if you wanted to, to make it either easier or harder for people to level up their uh, pets. But that is how you would do it. If we head over to the wiki, you can see all the stuff here from permissions to all the different pets. If you just click on one, it will give you the crafting recipe if you want to find that out. Head over to commands, it will give you all the different commands that you will see in here and the permissions. And then if we head over to the spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.17. If you have any troubles with it, you can head over and contact the developer or contact them on Discord. But that is everything. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>